Programmat Video Tutorial, Chapter 11, Using the Digital Shade Assistant. In this chapter, you will learn how the Digital Shade Assistant works and how you can use it for digital shade selection. The Digital Shade Assistant is only available for certain Programmat furnaces of the latest generation. The shade selection process is divided into two parts, a clinical part and a laboratory part. Start by determining the reference teeth and take a picture of the patient's teeth. Place an obturgate lip and cheek retractor on the patient. This way, you can obtain a better view of the patient's tooth necks and eliminate shades on the incisors. Obturgate facilitates the shade selection process. To determine the shade, make sure the teeth are moist and not dehydrated. Now identify the three sample teeth on the shade guide that are closest to the natural tooth shade of the patient. The Digital Shade Assistant, short DSA, is suitable for both the lower and upper teeth. The DSA is compatible with various shade guides from Ivoclar. Please see the instructions for use for detailed information. Place the three shade guide teeth into the DSA holder with the tooth necks pointing away from the holder. At this point, it may be useful to get the assistance of a second person. Proceed as follows. Hold the three reference teeth as closely to the tooth in question as possible. Position the teeth on the same plane if possible. Avoid light reflections on the teeth. Be sure to include all the required details on your image, mouth, reference teeth, the designations on the tabs of the shade guide teeth and the markings in the top corners of the DSA holder should be at the center of the image and seen as clearly as possible. Now you can take your pictures. The quality of the photographs will affect the accuracy of the DSA analysis. Preferably use autofocus, macro function and no flash to take the picture. Generally, you can use any popular digital camera or high-quality smartphone camera to shoot the images. Depending on the brand and type of camera, there will be differences in the images. This is normal and the DSA software will balance them out on the basis of the reference teeth. Now you can forward your digital photographs as a JPEG to the user of the Programmat Furnace either by email, USB flash drive or SD memory card. Press the Digital Shade Assistant key on the membrane-sealed keypad of the furnace. There are several options to transfer the photographs to the furnace. If the images are transferred to the furnace by means of the Prograbase X10 computer software and a Wi-Fi or LAN connection, they will be stored in the internal memory of the furnace. If you're using an external data carrier such as a USB flash drive or a SD memory card to transfer the images, they will be stored in the external memory. Let's assume that your images are stored on a USB flash drive and you have connected it to your furnace. Now press the External Memory button. Open the desired folder and select the correct image by pressing the appropriate arrow buttons. On the left side of the screen, you will see a preview of the image. Press the green button to start the analysis of the image. The image is now being analyzed. If the software does not automatically read the designations of the reference teeth, you can select them manually. Now you can see the result of the automatic analysis. The Digital Shade Assistant automatically identified the reference teeth and the tooth to be analyzed. The black rectangles demarcate the area on the reference teeth that were analyzed. The blue rectangle indicates the area that was analyzed on the patient's tooth. Next to the blue rectangle, the shade of the reference tooth that is closest to the shade measured on the patient's tooth is shown. Press the manual button to change the area to be analyzed by moving the position of the blue rectangle. You can change the area to be analyzed from dentin, tooth neck and incisal edge by pressing the button repeatedly. On the right side of the screen, you can see two diagrams. The diagram on the left shows the level of brightness of the three reference teeth and the analyzed tooth. The diagram on the right shows the saturation of the reference teeth and the analyzed tooth. If the difference between the tooth in question and the reference teeth is too wide, an error message will be displayed. 
If necessary, you can analyze your areas any number of times. Use the arrow keys to toggle between automatic analysis and the last manual analysis. You can change or move the sections on the images using your finger. By double-clicking, you can zoom in on the image and start a manual analysis. This way, detailed analyses can be performed. To see an image in full-screen mode, press the full-screen key. For further information, please see the operating instructions of the furnace or the supplementary information for the Digital Shade Assistant.